Since I was little, I always liked to create things. I made several books with the papers that I had in my house, a board game with my friend, and even a Minecraft horror game. Okay, so if I go there, something... Oh, that's so sick, bro. I remember that. But the thing is that I wanted to be able to make whatever I want and share it to millions of people. And I thought that the only way to do that was to learn how to script, but <laughs> little did I know, I needed to learn a lot more than just scripting. Oh my god, bro. Oh, hell <laughs> So that's why two months ago I decided to make my first Roblox game, Nerdy Kobe. And now that it's done, I can say that I'm a little bit experienced, but I still have a lot to learn. <laughs> So that's why I made this channel, to share all my games and all my progress, so y'all can sit back and enjoy. So basically my game idea was that there's people on the game at the lobby and then they get teleported and when they get teleported there will be blocks that will come to them, they need to dodge them or if they don't they will fall out. Ha <laughs> oh, ha So on day one, I started to work on the moving system for the models. I wanted to see how do we do to move um, a model on Roblox Studio, and here was my first attempt. So as you can see, it was working, but in the wrong way. So I just change the values and boom but as you can see here it was going up for some reasons so I just set it to set primary purchase frame instead of move to and now it works after I was trying to see if I could destroy the blocks when they reached a certain C frame but it wasn't working so what I tried after is when the block touches something it will destroy but it didn't work too and I don't really know why. After I made the first map of the game and I started working on the enter mission system. But don't worry about that UI though, it's just a placeholder for the moment. After I started working on the UI for the winners that won the last game. But I didn't really know what kind of vibe I was going for, so that's why it doesn't look that good. Don't worry, I'll change this later, it's just because that I was a little bit lazy. After I made the first part to dodge, and then I made the script to make the part move, and I was so happy about that script, because as you can see here, the pixel to move is at 100, and every millisecond it will decrease by 0 0.1, and when it's Oh man, shot you! And finally, this is the final result. So you will get teleported, and you have to dodge the thing that will come to you. And when you will win, it will show the winners. And I also added um, a wins uh, currency. Oh, and also, um, there was a little bug, but uh, I quickly fixed it. It was pretty easy. <laughs> On day 2, I was super motivated for my game, so I woke up, took a shower, and directly up on Blender to make some models for my game. So, the first model that I made it was a Minecraft block, and after I made a light pole. And honestly, I'm pretty happy about how the light pole turned out. After I placed the light poles in the game, and I think that I forgot to record when I was modeling the buildings, but they were pretty easy to do, and after I made some other dodge parts. Remember that ugly UI that I was talking about earlier? Well, I made it again and it's much better now. And finally, I made the UI for the enter mission and the timer. So on day 3, I added the new UIs in the game. 
And look at this beauty! Don't that look beautiful? Don't you wanna kiss that little UI? Don't you wanna- hey, yo, chill, chill. And that's what the timer UI look like. Don't you wanna- Oh, and by the way, that's what the cubes look like. Day 4, I won't gonna lie, I didn't really work a lot, I just did an island and a tree for the lobby, but yeah, that's literally all. So on day 5, I made the lobby because the lobby was garbage, and for the textures, I use Easy Textures by Robocrafter, and I definitely recommend it. So that's what it looks like at the end and I'm really happy about it because it's the first time that I do a lobby and for the rocks model I didn't record me doing it because I don't think that was really interesting and that's the same for the grass too and also um, I added uh, this cool hobby right there to make people wait during their intermission after I started working on the UI I made a trails button, a friends button, a settings button, and finally a rank button. And here is a time lapse of me doing the crown icon and coins icon. So this is what the UI looks like and I'm really happy about how it turned out. I wanted to make something original and honestly I think that I did. So after 6 days of work this is what the gameplay looks like. Now all is left to do is just make the buttons work and make a global leaderboard. So I started by making the rank system, I made a rank display above the player's heads. All I did is just weld a block on the player's humanoid robots and then add a billboard UI on the block. And this is what the ranks UI looks like, pretty cool huh? And day 8, I wanted to see if my idea to make a trail system worked, and it did. So after what I did is the UI for the trail menu. Oh, and you may be wondering, why did I skip day 7? It's just because that day 7, I was a little bit buzzy. Stop the cow! And boom, this is the final result for the trails menu and I'm really happy about it because it's the first time that I made one. And after I made some photo shoots for the shop and you'll see how it looks like in day 11. Oh, and unfortunately for day 9 and 10, um, I was busy, I was busy. So if we click on the plus, the shop UI will appear and this is what it looks like. After I added a new feature so the players can earn more coins when their rank is higher. Oh and also I just realized that to be a legend the fastest time possible, you have to play for 50 hours straight. So if you are a legend, I don't know what to say, just thank you. After I did the script for the trail shop and the save system. So basically what I did is when a player joins, it creates a bull value for the player. And the bull value is the name of a trail and the shop. Example has basic trail. If has basic trail equal false, then that means that he doesn't have the basic trail. But if he buys it, the basic trail will be true and it will save. So whenever he joins back, the has basic trail will equal to true. And if it's true, that means that he can equip it. Pretty smart, huh? So now players can go buy trails and the trail shop, and this is what it looks like. After I went on Blender and did the leaderboard model, I exported the model to Studio and I made the surface GUIs.
after I scripted the global leaderboard and when I do global leaderboards I always like to show the first players and finally I made the first players dance because we don't want them to look like a stick so yeah and here is the final result I'm pretty happy about it because it's much better than the one that I made in my previous game so for day 12 all is left to do is just the icons so I started by making the name of the game and I think it's pretty decent and finally I took a screenshot from studio and thank you to that guy because I needed to remove the white grid lines and now the game is done so this is what it looks like on the page and I also made um, three thumbnails for the game so this is the first one the second one and the third one so thank you for watching this video if you wanna play my game you can go on my roblox profile mmaa665 and then go on my creations use code 20 visits and 100 visits to get 155 points and yeah have a nice day